we have gamma that's negative, but we have delta that's that's positive. There are other conditions where we have gamma that's positive and delta is negative, right? And you have to there there really are are two very very different things, and and they're they're really really important. It has to do with moneyness, and as we know, moneyness matters because above the yellow line, the puts are in the money and below the yellow line, the calls are in the money. And we added a column in here called net OI to give you, especially for like a single expiry, it gives you the put call balance, literally the net calls minus puts in terms of OI for the expiries that you've selected right here. And it tells you that who's winning the battle. And so below us, you can see that we've got red down here and you can visually, you can do the mental math and you can go on down the list here and you see you got, for instance, 2,600 puts here to 2,300 calls. And so that's going to be a net negative on the, on the put side. But you can see over here, you've got positive deltas and you're probably thinking, well, why are those positive deltas? Because this is negative and gamma is negative. That, shouldn't that be negative? And the answer is no. And the reason is, is that these are deep in the money, deep, deep, deep in the money. In fact, the further you get away from the yellow line, the deltas are one. And so the contract, even though the contract count favors the puts, the delta, because we're summing the deltas, we're actually, this is positive deltas, even though you've got effectively a net balance of puts down here. Now, if price comes down into this area, and this is what's important to, to appreciate, as price falls down here, the puts will start to win the battle. You'll start seeing the net delta flip into the negative side. And that's because these will no longer be deep in the money. We'll actually see them go from a delta of 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 as the line gets closer and closer. So for like this strike that you see, that's in bright purple right here. And this is the uh, 4,500 strike. As the yellow drops down, as spot price drops down, there will come a point where these are effectively 50-50. You'll have a negative 50 for the puts and you'll have a positive 50 at the money uh, for the calls. And so this hugely positive delta number, which is attributed mostly because these are out of the money, deep out of the money, and these are deep in the money, all that delta is rolling up right now. But as price comes down, it's going to start turning effectively whatever you see here in terms of the, of the overall column. So I, I think... The way I would, if I were you, the way I would look at this is I would say this is what it is right now. And that's with spot price clearly pointing at, at 4560. The question then becomes what happens if price moves up or price moves down? Where am I going to start seeing the, you know, the, the change in state? So given the data that we have right now for tomorrow morning, you can see there's going to be a transition that occurs. We've got a little node here, but clearly underneath 4515, we start seeing just huge run up in put dominated OI here. And so if price were to fall into this area, what happens? This is where you start creating your if-thens. And certainly if price falls down into this area, these deltas are all gonna start turning red. Certainly from this area here, and above, we're going to see more and more red start coming in over here because as the price falls, the puts win, this gets negated and starts flipping into a negative state. Does that answer your question? 